GCI and the media. I don't have to talk a lot, but I need to focus on several issues regarding this current problem facing this country, where it has become almost a norm in any government entity to find some crooks getting employed using fake certificates or genuine certificate, but they are not owned uh, legitimately by the, the person possessing it. And the example here is uh, we have cases, Chairman, where you find somebody has got a genuine degree from a university, but he used a fake Form 4 certificate to get admission. Somebody having a genuine degree, but he has used a relative certificate, Form 4 certificate, to gain entrance to the university. The main problem here, first of all, we would really like to thank the PSC, being the agency that is mandated in the employment of all public servants, that this is a very good step forward. Because, as the DCI has said, why should you get employed not through merit? When we entertain usage of fake certificates, we are entertaining a problem transcending the country. When we start using fake certificates, the message outside there is that don't rely on the Kenyan certification system. People use a lot of bogus certificate. You are undermining the education system of this country, which is currently very reputable and respected. So when we get hold of you through the vetting and authentication by agencies, my brother, the DCI, will look at the forgery aspect. Us will even do the forgery aspect and will try to recover the money you have been paid. We have those cases before court, and we shall recover the money that you have been paid for all that time, and uh, there will be the criminal aspect about it. But uh, most important is that we need to ask ourselves, why is this problem now becoming very prevalent? Don't tell me it's because there's the, the scarcity of jobs. When you tell me that, it, you are telling me that if you don't have enough money to buy enough food, go and steal to another, uh, you know, enter into your neighbor's house and steal, and it's allowed. There is nothing like that. If you don't qualify for a position, don't, you don't qualify for that position. You are fit for a grade E in the public service, go there with your certificates. If you have an E, show it, it's an E. If you have an A, show it's an A. If you have a degree, and a lower, I mean, it's a pass, show sure, that I have a degree, it's a pass. There's no problem with that. But when we allow that, the main problem, and Chairman, this is something that you need to know, this problem is encouraged by senior officers in all those entities. If it is county, you find the governor is the culprit. He even goes and tells the young men, Tafuteni Makaratasi ya Wongo River Road, Mulete Muandikwa kwa sababu mulinifanya campaign. It has happened. So you can see a whole governor, a whole governor, encouraging, encouraging young people to commit a crime. Or if you are head of a state corporation, na sasa sasa unajua miyapa nimekua mkubwa, na nata kulift watu kutuwa kwa village yangu, leteni makaratasi yapa. The recruiting officer is told, Look at the other side. Let this young man be, get employed. But the message to us is very simple. You get employed. I know we have limit, limitation in terms of resources. But when the DCI, when the ESCC, when the PSC get hold of you, there are two aspects there. The criminal aspect, you will end up in jail. And second, whatever you have been paid, ESCC will try to recover. So uh, that is the way it is. And... Uh, Chairman and your team, we are very thankful and uh, thank you for inviting us because you are showing the public that after you have done your job, the enforcement agencies will take over. The other thing that we request, especially to our members of parliament, we need laws to be amended on how to deal with this kind of problem. Because right now, as ESCC, when we get hold of people with fake certificates and we charge them before court, you find a case is taking three years. For us as investigators, it took us half a day to check with Kenya National Examination Council that your certificate was fake. But by the time we prepare the file to the DPP, it goes to court, 
uh, it takes about it takes about it, it takes years for it to get uh, get concluded. So we want laws that agencies like PSC, uh, given those kind of powers, that they can give a sort of a summary and is taken to court, and uh, a, a, a ruling or judgment is given immediately. Because without that, uh, this problem is increasing, and we need a better way of making sure that there's proper deterrence and prevention of those who may think of doing or committing the same, same uh, offense. So with those remarks, I think Chairman, uh, We'll go through your report. I will coordinate with my brother, the DCI, and we decide to do this bitter cake. Uh, which portion are we going to take and which portion is he going to take? And we'll work on it. And we are very thankful uh, for the commission. I think we shall write to them as ESCC to tell them through your, uh, your office that we need a proper verification exercise of the academic certificates and we want the returns uh, from them. If they do coverage, the, the, the chair or the, those, uh, the CEOs of those commission, we shall get hold of them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. Masuali.